At 16, my mom passed away. Then the only thing I wanted to do was ride my bike. I went from riding a few times a week to riding six, seven days a week, four to eight hours a day. And I did that for two years. Then I had the decision, college or travel and ride my bike. And I took the fun route. Two thousand nine, uh, that would be my. That was my third year as a professional, and basically, I always had like big legs even when I was younger. And it was funny. It's like I even said to myself, "I go, man, the last injury I'd probably ever get is this whole ACL thing that people always talk about. Worst injury. <laughs> a month later, quad whip gone wrong. So the bike went four times around, but the right foot didn't properly sit on the pedal. So I was number one. A year later. Uh, I, I get back on it, did the surgery, the rehab, putting the time on my bike, moved to Florida, built the backyard ramps. I was pumped, feeling great. First big concert of the year, I win the contest. This kid is a whipping and spinning machine. They don't call him Mike Skinner for nothing. Man, I wish I was born with that name because that fits perfectly. It's like a miracle, pretty much. A month later, boom, surgery number two, flew to Canada, I knew I couldn't do another six months off my bike, so basically it's a, uh, an, a synthetic ligament called a Lars ligament in your knee, and it's a one month recovery time. Going great for eight months, I'm riding the first month. Three days before the first contest in 2011, I just take some gnarly ass slam, and boom, we're on number three now, you know? <laughs> Some guys I know, they get hurt, and then when they get back on their bike, they don't even think about it. They just do it. For me, it was like a process, like, all right, I gotta do a 180, a 360, a 540. Every day I ride, I always have like a goal. I always underestimate myself, so the goals I'm setting are really easy. So I always over exceed the goals I have, which is good. Going to the gym, for what I do as a BMX rider, you don't need to do it. I think I enjoy it. I think it's a mini hobby for me. But now, I need it for my knees. I need to always pedal the bike, which I enjoy doing, but you always need to make it to where the only thing that your legs and your body's getting strong for is not just when you're riding. Because what we do is not training. If it was training, it'd be miserable, and I would not be here right now. If I don't ride my bike, for a day, I feel like I missed out on something. I'll set days where I'm like, all right, I rode a lot, I'm sore, let me take a break. But I have to be sore to take that break. I don't think it has anything to do with having the responsibility that I have to ride. It's when I don't ride and I'm healthy to ride, I just feel bad if I don't. It's weird, like I have to do it. I can't explain it. just coming up the ramp and just I was just gonna mess around do something I wasn't going as fast I wanted to do for like a triple whip so I was like yeah let me just do a 360 and I was gonna like mess around in the air like wiggle around and slam the back end and lost it it looks bad but that didn't hurt it's the ones that don't look bad at all are the ones that you know you mess up your knee your ankle and it's cool though I mean yeah you gotta take them once in a while any sport there is, the whole point is we're going out there doing something with our body and we're going for it and there is the risk and the reward and that's what it is. BMX is my life. I don't think it will ever not be my life. 
I don't think I would ever forget it. I don't think I would ever stop doing it. It's got me through everything. <laughs> when I ride, I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Mentally, physically, for my job, everything. My knee is 100%, and I'm just happy. And it's cool. It's like uh, it's living the dream, living my dream.